The Antarctic ice sheet is definitely melting. So here's a crazy idea. Let's not wait until millions of people are homeless before we do something about it. Huh? Huh? Hey folks, Lacey Green here for D News. When it comes to the rising sea level, one of the key players is our southern buddy, Antarctica. Antarctica is something of a neglected continent because basically nobody lives there, but it's about twice the size of Australia and it contains 90% of the Earth's ice. The entire continent is basically a one mile thick slab of ice. If the whole thing were to melt, the sea level across the planet would rise 200 feet and humanity would be totally screwed. Fortunately, we're only slightly screwed. Multiple studies published in the journal Science predict that we're looking at closer to a 10 foot increase in the sea level across the planet by the year 2200. So hey, it's not 200 feet, but 10 is still a lot, even across the projected 200 year period. By the time your great great grandbabies are walking the earth, around 29,000 square miles of US land will be underwater. Land that's currently inhabited by over 12 million people. Researchers at Climate Central say that New York City, New Orleans, Miami, and DC will be the areas that are most heavily flooded. Various coastal cities in Texas, New Jersey, New England, Virginia, and California will also be severely affected. In Florida, the highest risk area, one third of its housing will go under. And because of what are essentially holes in Florida's bedrock, levees and seawalls will be useless. On a global scale, 13 of the world's largest cities and about 25% of humanity rests in these coastal areas that will be affected. Some inhabited islands, like the Maldives, are projected to go underwater completely. Of course, this kind of rise also poses a great threat for severe flooding during storms like Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Sandy. Plus, tsunami zones from earthquakes will extend much further back into the land. But before you freak out, keep in mind that this is something that will happen slowly over time. It's not an overnight thing. The melt predicted is also not reversible. It's going to happen. So cities will need to figure out how they'll handle the physical and economic impacts. And that's a process that begins by scientists and policymakers working together and asking the right questions to get started. The American Geophysical Union is already asking, all right guys, what's the approach here? What's the game plan? Should we build up our seawalls? Should we start to zone future buildings? and real estate further up on the land? How is this going to affect the economy? To prevent even more sea level rising, we should also be seriously thinking about what role humans play in preventing more ice melting. Now, the common response to this kind of news is usually fear, oh my god, followed by apathy, I don't care. And I'd argue that the proper response isn't fear or apathy at all. It's action, action in the form of prevention and adaptation. Time to roll up the sleeves and get to work. So what do you guys think? Tell me about it down below, and I'll see you next time with more science updates.